Excellency, Mr. Pamba, President of the Republic of Namibia, and current Chair of SADIC. Your Excellency, Mr. Joachim Chisano, Mediator, Madagascar. Honorable Ministers of Botswana, Namibia, and Zambia, here present, SADIC, Executive Secretary, Dr. Salaman. Distinguished Your Excellencies, leaders of the Malagasy political stakeholders, Your Excellencies, ambassadors and high commissioners, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> members of the press. I am delighted to welcome you all to the SADIC meeting of the Malagasy stakeholders on the implementation of the roadmap convened in this beautiful capital city of Kaburoni in accordance with the last extraordinary summit, SADIC summit, held in Vindo, Namibia, on the 20th of May, 2011. Your Excellency, your presence here today signifies the desire by all, all of us, for a solution to the problems that the people of Madagascar and their leaders are facing. This objective can be achieved only if you, the Malagasy stakeholders, have come here with the spirit of give and take and place the interest of your country and your people about those of individuals or partisan interest. The political crisis in Madagascar has taken quite a while to be resolved as a result of its complexity. Today, this day offers us the ultimate opportunity to ensure that the roadmap map is owned by all the stakeholders present, so that it can guarantee the speedy solution of this crisis through the organization of free, transparent, and credible elections under the auspices of the United Nations, the African Union, and indeed SADIC and any other members of the international community. Such elections must be held within a reasonable period of time in order to alleviate the current plight of the ordinary Malagasy people. All your excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the transparency and credibility of the elections in Madagascar will be measured, among other means, through the creation of conducive conditions which enable all the Malagasy political movements to participate in them freely, without intimidation or fear of victimization by any. Such an environment supposes the full participation by all the leaders or parties in the process leading to elections on a level playing field. This requirement must be clearly understood that SADIC has no preferred candidate in Madagascar. It is no one else but the Malagasy people who are enti entitled to legitimate to the legitimate right to choose their leader, as indeed is the case in any of our countries. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of SADIC, I salute the Malagasy people for the initiatives they have taken to engage in the inter-Malagasy dialogue, which has complemented the Maputo and Addis Ababa processes. My commendation, above all, <coughs> goes to the sterling mediation, mediation work that His Excellency Mr. Joachim G. 
Sano, former president of the Republic of Mozambique, has accomplished in fulfilling the mandate that SADC has entrusted him. In addition, I wish to acknowledge the positive contributions that the African Union, the United Nations, the International Organization of French-speaking countries, the Indian Ocean Commission, and other stakeholders have made to the mediation efforts. I would finally like to specifically thank the government and the people of Botswana for hosting today's meeting and a warm welcome and hospitality extended to me and my delegation as well as all the other delegations here present. I am certain that the excellent facilities in which we are gathering are the appropriate setting that will help this meeting achieve its objective efficiently. I wish to conclude, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, my statement by urging all of you to take decisions that have far-reaching consequences in order to make history for your beloved country and not let history take an upper hand. I thank you all and once again welcome Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.